Let's get to the trader rundown now with Sean Cruz of TD Ameritrade. We've set a lot of records in the market this week, as you know. Mm -hmm. One of the names I want to talk about, though, is General Electric. Do you think this will be a stock that's going to show any kind of leadership here? You know, we saw the markets get a little bit more volatile, but we've seen some steady buying pressure in GE. And in the options market, we saw a trade come in where they were selling 18 puts and they were buying 19 calls. So that's another trade that's going to be positive delta. It looks like whatever trader that is, is trying to get that upside exposure to GE. So they think that GE is likely to rally then? The, that looks like that trade in and of itself is what it's positioning for. Traders are also watching what's going on with the high yield bond market. Now, one way to trade that is through HYG. So what do you see as the trade here? So we, we've also seen a little bit more volatility in rates. Um, so far this week, we've seen rates uh, actually start to increase, and that actually is going to push prices down. So looking at HYG, we've seen a lot of activity at the 85 and 87 put level, and it looks like they're not only maybe playing a little bit of a downside pull in HYG, but they're also playing an increase in volatility. So kind of two interesting takes on what they expect to see in HYG moving forward. And then one other name to mention, the triple Q now NASDAQ has been the star of the show lately. What do you think about NASDAQ and the triple Qs which track What's going on with these tech stocks? So we're also seeing the triple Q. We've seen a lot of activity at that 160 put level. Um, about 20,000 uh, options at the open interest there. So that could be someone either positioning themselves for moves lower, or they could just be hedging because we saw some massive gains over the past year in the NASDAQ and a lot of those tech names. So it looks like maybe if they want to keep holding that, they want to go ahead and maybe hedge a little bit of that downside exposure. And that 160 strike seems to be where we're seeing a lot of that activity going on. Are you bullish? or bearish on this market personally? So I, I think it's gonna be interesting to see which sectors um, you start seeing money rotate into. Seeing a little bit of a pullback here recently, but I think you're gonna start seeing um, money managers maybe start to reallocate funds. So I think you're gonna see some sectors continue to rise, but you might see some get a little bit more volatile. So I think it's important to just make sure you're comfortable with where your exposure's at across the board. Well, thank you so much, Sean. Have a great trading day. Thank you.